hello guys welcome to another interesting video in the series of coding it's called remove duplicates from sorted list so we are given a linked list that is having some values that are duplicates for example in this linked list we can see three and four are occurring more than once so we have to delete them and we have to return the remaining linked list so this linked list is having elements one two and five which are unique which are not occurring more than once so that is what we have to return in the final linked list so let's uh, start coding this to understand this uh, better So I'll just uh, zoom it out a little bit so that this is visible better and uh, let's start. Okay, so what the first thing that we can do is we can check if the head node is null or not. Okay, because if the head node is null, then there is no point in going over. So we can check if not of head, that is if the head node is null, then we can just return head. Okay, now uh, what we can do is. We can check if you have to delete the first element because see if you have to delete the first element uh, like the case that is uh, given here. So in this case that is given to us, we have to delete the first element also. But uh, see we know that for deleting any um, node, we require the previous node. Okay. So but for the first node, we don't have the previous node. So what we'll do is we'll declare a dummy variable okay, that we'll call pseudo here. That will act as a previous node if in the case that we have to delete the first uh, value of the node so that's why we are doing this and uh, let's get started to coding it so in this case i am declaring a pseudo variable so list node star pseudo is equal to new list node and uh, it will automatically get the value of uh, zero because uh, this constructor function will give the value zero but we can also give the value of zero here if we want and we can attach this to the uh, linked list so to attach it to the linked list pseudo star next is equal to head okay let's uh, move ahead now we will have to iterate over all the elements of the linked list and we will have to check if they are occurring more than once so i am going to declare list node star uh, ITR because we are going to iterate over the elements of the linked list and I'm going to initialize it to the first uh, node so that is pseudo for now okay and I can uh, start with my while loop so I will give the conditions later let's just start writing the code for now so what we are going to do is we will have to check so what we will have to check is we will have to check if the variables value are going to be same or not so if iters uh, next value is equal to itr star next star next star value that means if we are checking if two adjacent values are uh, going to be same or not then in that case what i can do is unless their values are same i can keep uh, deleting them so i can um, check this and um, for doing this i can give a while loop okay so while iter star next value is equal to my current iterators next star next star value then in that case what i can do is i can delete so for deleting uh, any element the uh, simple code is iter uh, star next is equal to iterator star next star next okay so this code will uh, be able to delete the element okay so let's uh, try to understand this so for example uh, this is my element that i want to delete okay suppose three is repeating and um, i want to delete this so suppose this is my current iterator so iterator star next will be holding this node iterator star next star next will be this node so iterator star next will become equal to iterator star next star next okay so these two links will attach so this uh, list this link will uh, get deleted so if this link has got deleted that means this link and this link has got uh, attached that means i have deleted the node that was present in uh, middle so i deleted the node that was here so i have done that using the previous node okay so this is the concept of this and now what i can do is i can take one example to check if um, this is working properly or not so basically if i have 
let's take this example itself okay suppose this is my uh, linked list where i have to delete both the values of 3 i have to return 1 and 4 okay this is my final linked list that i have to return so let's see if uh, this is working properly so initially i will start with uh, this is the iterator okay that i am starting with and by the way zero is also there so zero is a dummy variable uh, that is that will be used okay for deleting if the first value had to be deleted so let's not consider that for now so let's uh, consider this is the iterator now i have to delete uh, this next value okay so i have deleted it using this line of code that i just written right now so i have deleted it and i have moved over now again i give the check right i again check if um, iterator star next star value which is 3 is equal to uh, iterator star next uh, star next star val okay so that is 4 in this case so 3 is not equal to 4 so i will not um, delete the value okay i will not delete the value and i will just move over to my uh, next value okay so i will initialize my iterator as this but this code will not work because i needed to delete this 3 also i need to delete all the occurrences of 3 that are there okay so uh, in this case i would not have uh, been able to delete this 3 and i would have just moved over so for avoiding this case what we can do is we can um, give int variable here that can uh, take this value so it is equal to iterator star next star val and i can um, give a condition here so that condition instead of this i can give if iterator star next star val okay while this is equal to our variable that is unless that is equal to that value it will keep deleting the elements so this will work and in this case we will be able to delete all the occurrences of the element okay now in this case we will also have to give a condition check while iterator dot next is not equal to null we will have to give this check also because if iterator star next is equal to null then uh, nulls uh, the node that is having null that will not have any value stored in it and uh, it will give a, a error when it is trying to execute this line of code so that's it and uh, basically after this has exited we can give a um, else case and that else case will uh, just be iterator is equal to iterator star next now we can shift our iterator okay now we had to give a uh, the while condition here that we are not given so let's see what will be the condition see iterator star next should not be null because if this is null then uh, this will return an error and iterator star next star next also should not be null because as soon as it is it is entering this while loop it is checking these two conditions so that's it that is the condition we will have to give so while iterator star next is true and iterator star next star next is also true this is uh, fine okay and we can exit the while loop and at last we can return so what we are going to return is we are going to return pseudo star next that's why we had held that pseudo variable so that we can uh, return the next value of that i hope that this will work let's check if it's working so i think i have given a spelling mistake so let's correct the spelling mistake and uh, let's run the code again so i have forgotten a uh, semicolon again and uh, it should be fine now yes so it's fine let's also submit this and see if it's working so it's fine thank you for being patient and listening please like and subscribe